This is Saturday afternoon at the Spring Carlisle. Just doing a bit of a walk about the car corral. Not much is left, but it's always fun. This is 64 SS Impala with a 383 crate, uh, 525 horsepower, uh, backed by a 700R4 transmission with stall converters, of course, Yukon axles, four wheel uh, disc brakes, power steering, factory SS car, uh, nut and bolt, frame off restoration. These are difficult to get perfectly straight because of the anchor, acreage back there. Does not look bad at all. Nice. Nope. That's why I do not touch. See, frame off. Now look at this. I mean, come on, folks. That's the uh, hinge hanging. He's lucky he didn't do it in black because it waves back. It's very gentle, but she's there. Definitely a nice looking car. You know, is it worth a few bucks? Yeah, 58,000. Uh, I would be hesitant, but he's got enough into it. I'm sure even at 58, it doesn't even cover what he's got into it. What do you think, folks? Let's go. If you want a big boat, grab one before they're all gone. Check out this Newport. This is about 75, 77. Only 45,000 on the clock. Look at this thing, would you? There's nothing like it on the road. It's got the typical Chrysler dash. Doesn't throw me at this point. No power assist. 400, cruise control. Again, 45,000 on the clock. What would you pay for a car like this? Look how clean it is. Yeah, I'm not fooled by these low mileage cars oh just coming out you know super low mileage and they've been restored they've been worked or whatever this one is as it should be I don't see any body work I don't see any rust tires are bald which means that's been driven which I don't mind it's a stripper in the way that it does not have all the power, no power windows, uh, locks, or anything else. But really a nice looking car. Again, with 13, uh, with, uh, what's that, 34,000 miles on it. That's it. And they're asking 13.5, and that's just asking. That's pretty cool, wouldn't you agree? Actually, not a bad car. Let's check out another big one. That's the big Fords. Now I like this with the basket handle roof. That half vinyl is cool. And they had to have the, the uh, opera windows. That was the big thing. And if one is good, two is better. This is the Landau. It's 78. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 351. Of course, automatic. Uh, only has 74 on the clock. One black repaint with gold stripes, original black vinyl top, yeah, yeah, yeah sure, sure. Uh, does not give me some of the options. But black don't lie. Again, a handsome car. You just don't see that many around. You have to admit, if you like big cars, this is really pretty striking. It really is. Asking 14.5. It's got a Marty on it. Oh, nice interior. I like the individual buckets. That does not have power, which disappoints a bit in a car like this. You figure that it would. But not bad. I like the way how it's pretty bright back there. That's nice. What do you think, folks? Is this something you would drive home with? 
62 old Starfire. These are pretty, pretty cars. I love the accents. Look at that dual bumper routine there. Kind of cool. Yeah. Nice looking hard top. I want to do an overall and then I'm going to, uh, because the owner's not here, we're going to have some fun with this car. So do stay tuned. Neat looking rod. You know, I like this era. They shrank them down a bit. They're getting managed, yet still had a lot of the pizzazz of the 50s with the flares and stuff. They were getting into the jet age uh, look, and they still had a lot of the influence. You can see what goes on. I can't get into the interior, but you could get an idea of what goes on over there. This is pretty cool. Still has that reverse dog leg of the wraparound, the early wraparound windshields. Neat stuff. Definitely neat stuff. Now, without a doubt, later hubcaps, which why they put that on is beyond me, but okay. You see the interior is a bit rough, but I like it. It's got the tack on the center console. I like the center console. Look at it, just beautiful. Now, let's have some fun. This car is listed 71 uh, 1,800 miles on it. Running, driving, stopping, 10 footer is worthy of a frame off restoration. It's all there. Frames for minor repairs, quarter completed. Okay? I mean, this car, the poor thing is really, what they did with this is unreal. I don't mind mistakes like that, but why are you putting the wrong hubcaps on? Check that out on the doors. Look how thick that chip is. That means that that has been repaired. You can see the way how this, I don't know what they did. I mean, it's been goofy. That's typical of the GM with the rust over there. Whoever repainted this, I don't know what they did. So much dust and dirt in the paint. It is ridiculous, just ridiculous. Uh, I got waves in the quarter. I mean, this is not a great car. It's a good cruiser. I'll take it in a minute for a cruiser. The quarters definitely need work and have had work. I'd have to get into the rockers. I see problems also. On the fenders. Now they're asking 15. That's probably why she's here Saturday afternoon. But, you know, if it's reasonably priced, what a great cruiser.